What if I told you that one of the coldest, most barren places on earth is transforming, turning green? This isn't a science fiction movie, this is real. And what's happening in Antarctica might be the most alarming sign of climate change yet. Stay with me to uncover the truth behind this dramatic shift and why it matters to every single one of us. Antarctica, the icy frontier, has long stood as a symbol of Earth's resilience, a fortress of ice where life struggles to survive. But in recent years, this fortress has begun to change. Green moss and algae are appearing in places that were once frozen solid. What does this mean for Antarctica's fragile ecosystem and for the rest of the planet? Could this transformation be a sign of hope or a signal of something far more concerning? Let's uncover what's really happening in Antarctica. In recent years, scientists have observed the rapid spread of moss and algae across Antarctica's peninsula, one of the warmest regions of the continent. These organisms, which thrive in melting snow, are now flourishing like never before. The once pristine white ice is now dotted with patches of green. But what's causing this? The answer lies in the steady rise in temperatures. In some areas of Antarctica, average temperatures have increased by almost 3 degrees Celsius in just 50 years, creating the perfect conditions for this transformation. Antarctica's greening might look small now, but it's just the tip of the iceberg, literally. The deeper question is, what's driving this change and how much worse could it get? Antarctica's transformation is not random, it's rooted in science. Warmer temperatures are melting the snow, providing the water needed for moss and algae to grow. But that's not all. As ice melts, more land is exposed to sunlight, creating a positive feedback loop that accelerates the process. This is a clear indication of the role climate change plays in altering Earth's most remote ecosystems. The greening of Antarctica is like a giant neon sign, warning us of the consequences of rising temperatures. While the science is clear, the impacts are even more shocking. What does this mean for Antarctica's unique ecosystem and the rest of the planet? Let's find out. Antarctica's ecosystem is incredibly fragile. Its wildlife, like penguins, seals and seabirds, depends on the icy environment for survival. As the ice retreats and moss spreads, these species are forced to adapt to a landscape that's changing too quickly. But it's not just Antarctica that's affected. Melting ice contributes to rising sea levels, threatening millions in low-lying coastal areas. Warmer oceans disrupt global weather patterns, leading to more frequent storms, heat waves and droughts. What happens in Antarctica doesn't stay in Antarctica. It impacts the entire planet. The stakes are high, but what role have humans played in this transformation and is there a way to reverse it? Let's take a closer look. Antarctica's transformation is not a natural occurrence. It's the result of human activity. Burning fossil fuels, deforestation and industrialization have led to an unprecedented rise in carbon dioxide levels, trapping heat and accelerating global warming. This is why even the most isolated regions like Antarctica are feeling the effects. But there's hope. By reducing emissions, transitioning to renewable energy and protecting ecosystems, we can slow down the damage. The question is, will we act in time? So, is this greening all bad? Or could it hold unexpected opportunities? Let's explore the silver lining. While the greening of Antarctica is alarming, it also provides valuable insights. These mosses and algae are teaching scientists how life can adapt to extreme conditions. This knowledge could even help us prepare for future challenges on Earth and beyond, including potential life on Mars. But let's be clear, this is not a cause for celebration. It's a wake-up call, reminding us of the urgency to address climate change. The greening of Antarctica is not just an environmental story. It's a call to action. Reducing your carbon footprint, supporting renewable energy, and spreading awareness can make a difference. 
every small action counts. The question is, will we act in time? If this story inspired you, hit like, share this video and subscribe to join us as we uncover the most critical issues facing our planet. Together we can make a difference.